Slime Rancher. Have you ever wanted to imprison cute little slimes to make money? Well, you're in luck. By having them produce these valuable plots, we can vacuum them up to sell in the plot market to make big bucks. Join me as I run after each and every achievement. Starting off for my first achievement, as soon as I loaded in, I had to race against the time to game end myself before 10 a.m. Whee! Okay, first achievement is done. I slept it off and collected some food so I could feed this big fat slime. These big guys are called Gordos and when you feed them large amounts of food, they burst and drop valuable loot. This is where I got my second achievement, Jelly Belly Burst, and my first slime key. I sucked up the slimes that came from the Gordo and returned to my ranch for my next achievement, Ball Pit, which involves putting 40 slimes into one corral and jumping in. He's escaping. That was easier than expected. After I was finished locking up these little guys, I went and did a bit of exploring and stumbled across this tunnel which led me to the slime door. I used the slime key I got earlier and got my next achievement, Open Says Me. This door gave me access to the indigo quarry. I also got an achievement for discovering the quarry. Mine or mine, discover the quarry. Well, we are going to. I realized right here that I had tabby slimes chilling in my backpack that I could use to get my next achievement through. My next achievement found me. This monstrosity is called a tar and they attack everything including me and even other slimes. Despite all that, to get this next achievement, I am forced to embrace it for 15 seconds. I hate these little shits. I don't have- I don't know how many times it has to bite me before I have to let it go, but we're just gonna win. Look at him go. Oh, there we go. Once bitten, twice bitten. Rad slimes. I used my newfound rad slimes to get my next achievement, which made me stand inside these little radiation bubbles for 15 seconds. Although it was a little difficult for me. This is, oh, okay. Come here, you little shit. Stay still. God damn. I need them to get, like, stuck. It gets, oh. He's stuck. This is looking good, people. Ouch. That only works in comic books. Oh, that didn't work. That was harder than than I expected. Because I was up all night exploring the dry reef and quarry, I got this achievement. See what I did there? Stay awake from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. This next achievement required three Lago slimes to be put into one corral. Now I did go to the range to find each Lago when I could have just fed three regular slimes different plots, but it's fine. It did the same thing. For this one, I headed to the range for a chickadee. The slime gods demanded a sacrifice. Oh no, oh poor little guy. My next goal was to get the plot peddler achievement, which involves selling 100 plots. But because I didn't have an established ranch, I decided to collect plots from wild slimes. This ended up getting me the free ranging achievement as well. New achievement, collect 50 plots in the range in a single day. We're on the plot grind right now. Plot peddler. After getting those two, the next achievement easily in my reach was six pack, where I'd need to get six different types of slimes and put them in the same corral. I already had four on my ranch, so I only needed to collect two more. Rock slime. Put the butter slime in there. Which I did. Six pack. Nice. At this point, I decided to expand my ranch. So I invested in another corral and pond for my puddle slimes. Cute little guys. Because I was very poor, I went on an expedition to find more valuable slimes. Whoa. Dangerous. I put my newly gathered crystal slimes in their corral and started milking them for their plots, which is how I got my next achievement, Fortunate. Fortunate. Earn over 50,000, 5,000 new bucks? Earn over 5,000 new bucks. The grotto. Let's get this. 
Let's see what's down here. And do a little exploring. Next up was the pool party achievement. With the newly purchased pond of my ranch and a variety of slimes at my disposal, I plucked a few slimes from their corrals. I'm gonna put all these in here. Hopefully, oh, there we go, pool party. Afterwards, I tackled the controlling the chaos achievement. I herded about 20 slimes into a corner, then managed to hold more than 15 of them in my back stream at once. Controlling the chaos, okay, got another achievement. Back at the ranch, I decided to join the 7Z Club, which got me the one person at a time achievement. For future achievements, I'll need to reach level 10 and level 22, which will cost me around 500,000 new bucks. Now that I was established, I wanted to explore more, but I'd need another slime key, which means time to feed more Gordos. On the way, I found an elder hen, which reminded me of a similar achievement. Carousel. Unfortunately, a slime key didn't drop, and the teleporter it was covering just led back to my ranch in an area that I hadn't unlocked yet. So I found another Gordo to explode. Okay, I'm gonna explore this rock Gordo real quick. This rock Gordo didn't drop a slime key either, but the teleporter led me to a crystal Gordo. He's like the rock Gordo, but rainbow. Oh, we got a key. After finally getting a slime key, it was time to discover the moss blanket. On the other side. Hero had my first encounter with a feral slime and somehow managed to get an achievement without even trying. Oh, fireworks. I didn't even know I could get that. Then I returned to my ranch to collect fruits to pop the honey gourd that resided in the moss blanket. Luckily, the honey gourd dropped a slime key, which I used to unlock this door. Okay, I don't know where this is leading to, but let's see. Oh. This area is a puzzle to open a big door to a place called the Ancient Ruins. Each of these statues of slimes corresponds to a specific plot, which needs to be placed into their mouths. Honey slime? This is a boom slime, right? Yeah. Before opening the gate, I was determined to fully explore the moss blanket. There I found mint mangoes and cuberries, which encouraged me to return to my grotto to get another achievement. Don't ask me why I did it in this order, I just did. I think I'm gonna put all my plants in the achievement for a cocktail, nice. I think I'm gonna put all my plants in the grotto. Following that detour, I collected some more ports needed for the gate. Okay, back here. Rock. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell what is going on? There we go. Almost able to open the gate, I returned to my ranch and purchased my next expansion, the Overgrowth. New expansion unlocked. I then sold some plots and earned my next achievement. Transporter. Nice, sell 500 plots at the plot market. After that, I moved my honey slimes into the overgrowth to transform my grotto into a large dedicated farm. Now I'm just gonna grow all of these here. Salad bar, no achievement. Using the new farms, I fed my slimes their favorite food, not only earning the tasty achievement, but also doubling their plot production. This allowed me to collect and sell a significant amount of plots. We're gonna be rich. I wish my I wish my backpack could hold more. And we're just gonna grind until we get hopefully a new achievement. Well off rancher. Okay, well, that's good. Quick new buck. Two achievements in one go. After getting some money, I took a detour from selling and bought my next expansion, the docks. I used the available waterfall to relocate my puddle slimes, then resumed selling plots to buy corrals in the new area. What authority? Sell 1,000 plots at the plot market. I used this space as a separate area for my main farm to get the diversification achievement, which requires having 10 different types of Largo slimes on my ranch. I'm just randomly making this, whoa. 
Whoa, little buddy, what's going on? Diversification. Cool. To get my next achievement, I fast forwarded time a few days to grow my hen hen population to start feeding my slimes. Slaughtering these chickens. Oh, new achievement. Feed 100 chickens to slimes on the ranch. I then went back to my docks to get a tabby claw for the last slime statue, which was the key to opening the gate and discovering the ancient ruins. Into the past, discover the ancient ruins. Okay, this is the ancient ruins then, I think, I believe. This is the ancient ruins. Wow, what are these? Quantum, quantum slimes. Look at them, they're lagging. They disappear, what's going on? We gotta do a little exploring around here. I don't know what's going on, whoa, what is that? Giant boom slime. We're gonna pop that. Oh. With another slime key under my belt and a newly discovered slime, I returned to the ranch. While you were away, I didn't even know I was gone for 24 hours, but that's good. New achievement. Afterwards, I farmed to 10,000 new bucks and purchased my final ranch expansion, the lab. The lab is crucial for unlocking many achievements, but is an absolute grind. Just, you'll see. Onward to science. While feeding my pink slime some food, I ended up getting omnivorous. Now I began my journey into the last area. I gathered some quantum plots to use on the statues to open the portal into the glass desert. Listen to them sing. Smoke, fire, and mirrors. Okay. While only exploring for a little bit, I came across the rarest vegetable in the game. The Gilded Ginger. Remember what I said earlier about getting to level 22? Hang on, let me rewind. Right here. I'll need to reach level 10 and level 22, which will cost me around- So at level 22, I get an upgrade called Golden Sure Shot, which makes golden slimes drop three gold plorts instead of one. But with this vegetable, when a golden slime eats it, it'll drop five plorts, meaning I don't need to invest in getting to level 22 anymore. After that, I fed the Tangle Gordo to get the Tangle Slime for the Slimepedia and to teleport home. Oh, look at these little guys. Alrighty, we're going home. Hmm. Now that I was home, I started working towards the Mint in a Box achievement, where I'd have to reach level 10 in the 7Z Rewards Club to buy my Slime's 10 toys. While farming to level 10, I got the Plort Powerhouse achievement for selling 2,500 plorts. Plort Powerhouse. Let's go. With level 9 achieved, I bought 9 out of 10 slime toys. Beach ball can be for my pink slimes, and then we'll get yarn for the, for the tabby. Nightlight for the phosphors. Power cell will be good for our rad slimes as well. And the bee will be good for our honey slimes. They will match the slimes perfectly. And with level 10 7Z, I can get the 10th and final slime toy to get the achievement. Hmm, crystal ball. Mint in a box, purchase at least 10 different types of slime toys. Once my slimes were happy with their toys, I fully upgraded their corral and my chicken coop. Better be happy after this. I also bought a silo and fully upgraded that too, so I could get the fully loaded achievement. Fully loaded. I then started working on the Bursting at the Seams achievement, which makes you fill each slot of a silo with at least 50 items. Oh, 
bursting at the seams. That took a lot of effort, but it was worth it. We got an achievement. After that fun experience, I pulled out the plots from the silo and sold them, earning my next achievement. Up across, earn over 100,000 new bucks. I also noticed I could now change the colors to my gadgets and lab. Damn, I didn't see this before. Is this new? Oh, color me impressed. Well, we got an achievement from that, so that's good. I didn't know that that was a thing. Back at the glass desert, I activated these rock slime statues so I could get ancient water to regrow the desert plants. This led me to obtaining a new mosaic slime, which when combined with dervish slimes, makes them very good for money. Afterwards, I decided to fulfill an exchange request for my next achievement. Hasty exchange. Nice. I set up four corrals of dervish mosaic slimes and dedicated the remaining space to gardens of prickle pears. We're going to grow some prickle pears. Hmm, plot tycoon. Wow. I didn't know you could get so many achievements for just selling plots. Doing this allowed me to get a slime stage which was required for this achievement. And look at him, he's a little, little rodent. After that, I ventured back to the glass desert, where I prematurely unlocked what was supposed to be one of my final achievements. Oh, I think this is to do with the ending? Back at my lab, I fabricated more gadgets which unlocked the Be the Builder achievement, and with the remaining plots, I fabricated a slime hoop. When you dunk a slime in the hoop, your score increases, and getting a score of 50 gets you an achievement. So that's exactly what I did. Yippee! She's on fire. Yes, I am. I then made my final visit to the glass desert to complete my slimepedia as all I needed was some silky sand. Pro style. Complete the slimepedia. Well, we have completed the slimepedia successfully now. All the resources, all the slimes, and the ranch, and the extensions. Now that was done, I finally went on the hunt for a gold slime. The gold slime is one of the rarest slimes in the game. Roughly a 1 in 200 chance of spawning, and finding it is- oh, never mind. He just spawned out of nowhere. That's- oh my god, that's so good. With the hat trick achievement secured, selling each gold plot for over 450 new bucks was the cherry on top. Now with only three achievements left, my focus shifted towards slime science gadgets and one of the hardest achievements, fabricating 100 gadgets. For the next few hours, I grinded the remaining plots. Look at this. Never stop creating. Well, we did do that. Next on my list was capturing a hunter gordo. I crafted the master gordo snare and set the bait. I'm gonna put this here. And hopefully in the morning, there'll be a big gordo. The next day, I woke up to another achievement acquired and a captured gordo. We've done it. With only one remaining story achievement left, I read my star mail to trigger the ending. Oh my god, we finished the game. Oh, please don't say that you'll go. My heart can't bear the This is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute, I'm gonna cry. I'm kinda sad that I finished it. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Be brave. Be bold. <laughs> Stay wiggly. Oh, we got an achievement. The adventure continues. And with that, I had unlocked every single achievement. Wait, what is this? So yeah, turns out we're not done yet. This is a game mode called Rush. Basically, it's a separate thing entirely from what we just did. To get the remaining achievements, I need to earn over 75,000 new bucks in an hour. Okay, I'm gonna speedrun this segment. I rushed my way to the glass desert and rejuvenated the oases so I could get my hands on dervish and mosaic slimes because as we already know, they produce the most money. After that, I popped this golden gourder near the ranch and completed another exchange for more gilded gingers. I then traveled to Ring Island to pop the gold gourders there and get my remaining new bucks that I needed.
And with that, time's up. I got a score of 88,000, which is over the 75,000 requirement for all three achievements. So there it is. I've officially 100%ed Slime Rancher. Thanks for watching my first ever proper video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you want to see more, like and subscribe.